Welcome back to Primetime Local News. Josh and Buck in studio again. Uh, one more local topic to touch on, and that is on the Lakeland Rustlers. It was a bye week this weekend, yeah. um, but a couple of uh, very important matchups with the Nate Ooks this weekend for the basketball volleyball teams, uh, especially with uh, men's volleyball little bit sketchy waters playoff wise and then women's basketball interesting situation as well you know it's an exciting time because before christmas we were talking that all four court teams had a shot to make the playoffs for the first yes. time in school history uh, so we're, we're getting close to that the, the girls volleyball team or basketball team needs a little bit of help uh, they need to win and they also need some help because it's kind of a juggling act who's going to finish where uh, but the the men's volleyball team they need to win and, and it'll be it'll mean so much to that program. And I know talking to the Dyer boys, and, and when you're recruiting, when you win, it helps you recruit. Uh, some of the times, the players come to you instead of you going to there. So if you have all 14, you know, four court teams qualifying for the playoffs at Lakeland, it's going to be a good off season for all four of those teams recruiting. And it's obviously a gut-wrenching situation to be yep. in that situation because of where they were a couple of weeks ago with the four-win advantage, but the fact is the destiny, their destiny is still in their hands. They win both matches this yep. weekend. It doesn't matter what the Kings Eagles can do, and they will be in. It's just a tough matchup against a very strong Nate Ooks team. Um, we're going to jump over to pro sports yep. really quickly, um, which is a field of your expertise, certainly yeah. the CFL. We have a couple of big names coming up in free agency at the most important position at quarterback. Yeah, free agency starts tomorrow in the CFL, and it's going to be an interesting free agency. Uh, the number one player uh, that's on everybody's lips is Mike Riley. Uh, is he going to re-sign with the Eskimos? Is he going to the BC Lions? And there's, there's a team in Saskatchewan looking for a quarterback, and the Riders can pay a lot of money. And the interesting thing, if he doesn't go there and he goes to BC, the other guy that could be the wild card in this is Bo Levi Mitchell. Whether or not he goes to the NFL, stays there, or if he comes back to the Canadian Football League and takes a, a local discount with the Calgary Stampeders, because that's the other way to call it, uh, or else he does he play with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Can you imagine Bo Levi Mitchell, a Rough Rider? Wow, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. And it's, I think, an interesting situation to think of an Eskimos team without yeah. Mike Riley. Where I mean, do they go from there? You, can yeah. you, think, you can't think of a lot of pro athletes in either Calgary or Edmonton over the past 20 years that have meant as much yep. to a city as that guy has. I mean, you, you outside of Connor McDavid, yep. what athlete is it? Yeah, you know, it'd be interesting to see if the, and the Eskimos are talking, you know, if he does not sign there, they'll have to look at it. So the Eskimos are thinking there's a chance he may not come back. So I think the Eskimos are prepared for it. Who that replacement's gonna be is gonna be interesting. Absolutely. Now, before we get out of here, we have about a minute left. Uh, another yep. big weekend coming up on, or not big week rather, coming up uh, on the Tuesday Night Sports Show. Uh, Tuesday Night Sports Show on Real Country 95.9 between 6 and 9 live from the Canadian Brew House. We'll be joined by Jordan Tutu. Uh, Jordan was in town earlier today. He'll join us talking about what he's doing. He's retired since October and also joining us our NHL insider Wade Redden who was along with that visit. And also Pete Lubardius from Sportsnet. He's down in Tampa Bay getting ready for the Flames and uh, the Lightning game and he'll preview that as well as look ahead uh, to the NHL trading line not that far away. And also we'll talk CFL free agency with Don Hewitt from CTV in Regina. Yeah, never, never a sleeping moment in the sports scene. We got free agency yep. in football, just finished a trade deadline in basketball, got another trade deadline coming up in hockey. And locally, as we said earlier, um, more hockey on the yep. way, but also a very big weekend for Rustlers Athletics starting Friday night with the Nate Ooks at 6 p.m. Myself and Buck, thank you. We'll have more on primetime local news.